Hey, my name is John Morris, and I founded the Recording Arts Pathway here at Sava, and we're really excited today because we're back in the studio, and we're going to be doing some recording today. Uh, Jaron Heim is going to be here recording and working on vocals today, and just to make it even better, I brought my brand new warm audio 251 microphone here a custom made mic for me at a and it's at my uh, recording studio so we're really looking forward to uh, letting everybody see how it goes down here at sava also broadcasting we're working in that platform right now thank you cameraman steve and he is going to be in charge of putting together a great little promo for us. So uh, let's take it away. This is in life. There's no surprise. I think I've seen this twice. Yeah. And well, it's time for me to learn, learn who I am. Hi, this is Dr. Mike Granchkoff here at Sava Schools, here with Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Um, I understand that you started singing from a young age. Could you just tell us a little bit about that and, and what got you into singing? Yes, uh, my mom and my teacher, Miss Hedrick, in fourth grade, they got me into singing. Miss Hedrick, she would constantly sing the national anthem every Friday, every morning since I was like a little kid, since I started going to that school. So in fourth grade, naturally, it was like, oh my God, I want to do this because I just saw how happy it made her. And then my mom, it was a bonding experience for me and her because she worked a lot, you know. So naturally, when I would go on and off to daycare and to school, it was like our time to sing together and it just made me happy because I saw how happy she was too. Do you have any recommendations or suggestions for somebody else who's considering uh, pursuing music? Uh, what, what would you tell them and, and why is music so important? Just make sure you love what you're doing and that you are very happy with what you're doing. Don't let someone push you to say something or to be like something because then that's how some great singers later on end up just spiraling out and then people are like, oh my God, they're acting up. No, they're showing that they really are this person. Don't let anyone change you through music. Make your music yours and yours only. That's a great message. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. And coming here from Sava, thank you, everyone. All right. I am uh, Miss Ashley Madden. I'm principal here at Sava. And we are here in the recording studio at the Powering Campus, and I'm here with student Gabe. How do you feel about the recording arts process? Like, what, what kind of drives you? It's very interesting. There's a lot to learn, which is cool, because there's always something to work towards, and that's always great to have. Is there something specific in the recording arts process that, really, that you really love, or something that stands out to you? Well, I really like the before and after processes of the recording because like, there's like the mastering and stuff and then there's like the before is all the setup. One thing that I want to learn more about is like acoustics and how those work when you're setting up your recording booth or whatever. What specifically do you want for yourself in this industry? What John doing is kind of like the dream right now. He's just kind of running his own studio and making things happen. So you want to work with uh, with recording artists and help and kind of engineer their sounds? Oh, for sure. That's definitely what I want to do. All right. Well, thank you, Gabe, and thank you for joining us. <laughs>